This is uh, Ian Parker Moore here from uh, International Amateur Street Photography Group, and I'm continuing my series of uh, in interviewing uh, members. And today it's Tracy Jackson. So, hello, Ian. Hello, Tracy. How are you? I'm very, thank you for inviting me. You're, that's my pleasure. That's my pleasure. So how long How long have you been into photography? Uh, since I was ooh, 11. Very early. All right. Very, very, that's very about, early. In that's about six years then. Oh, probably about oh, 45. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ancient. Okay, so how long how long in, into street then? When 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 did you start street photography? I started street um twenty about twenty twenty one. All right, so that's not so long ago then. It's not long. Um, I had a massive hiatus of about twenty years. Okay. Um, I've got a very chronic uh, back. Okay, and that played a massive part in you know not doing anything. And getting out, you know, I'll maybe go out for about an hour and a half. And then, unfortunately, the, the back kicks in. And that could be the end of the week where I, I go back out again. But it helps your mental health because you're chatting to people. You're yeah. interacting. People are asking questions like, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? And it helps. I think a lot of people use photography as to help their mental health. And it's um, my happy place. Yeah. It's it's it really is my my happy place. You know, I've got two happy places. Um when I go out taking photographs and when I sit in front of the light room for about a week editing. Oh. And they're my two happy places. And I think everybody thinks like that. Yeah, I think but it's it certainly keeps you going, doesn't it? It does. It, yeah. it does. I know. I know. When I'm feeling down, I like. I like to get out. I like to get it's, out and eat. It's it's the fresh air, and you might bump into somebody, or you might not. Yeah. And it is lonely going around taking photos. It, it is lonely, um, but I know at the end of the day, it's something I'm passionate about. Right. So, so who 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 influenced you then? Who who's you know, oh, right. I done the all then the olden days, the O level. All right. Okay. And the, in the they were the dark ages. And I done my school didn't do photography, they done art. And they said if you can find a school in when you're in the sixth form, you can go there. So I went two days a week to a school in Newcastle called Reedwood. And I was very, very blessed to have the art teacher who was a photographer called Dennis Cowings. And he instilled what I know now is, you know, he used to take what out. Don't take from eye level. Kneel on the ground, look up to the sky, you know, get some good vantage points, you know, sit on a park bench, lie on the ground and take people's legs and heads and... Hmm. He was amazing. He just like oozed enthusiasm, and that's good, you know. And he he taught it how to do dark room, how to put the film onto a spool, everything you could possibly think of, and that's where I learned it. That's where I got what I what I know now was from having a major influence. So if if I see you in Newcastle, then you'll be lying on the floor in a puddle somewhere, will you? I lurk in strange places. <laughs> I'm the, I am so sneaky. I am really sneaky at what I do. Really okay. sneaky. Well, it's it's obviously working because you you do do some very good pictures. I must say, I've been quite impressed with uh, a lot of your pictures. Wait until you see yesterday's. Right. Okay. Oh, they they were they were sneaky. 
I also know you 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 do black and white. Is that is that on purpose or is that just something that you've grown into? It's preference. I've always preferred black and white to colour. I've never liked colour. Right. It's that's just that's just me. That's just my personal preference. But I like dark contrast blacks. Yeah. Because I want to I want somebody to see if I was ever lucky enough to have an exhibition, that's Tracy Jackson's. Okay. And they would re they would recognize it by the style. Right, okay. Of that's, being very dark. That's when you know you're there when people say that's Tracy's. Yes, I'll be hiding in the background. <laughs> okay, okay. So uh what uh, so when you take your picture, do you do much uh, editing? Yes. You do. So it has to, obviously it has to go, you know, through Lightroom. And for an example, yesterday I took sixteen hundred shots. Oh right, okay. And if I get six hundred out of them, that'll be great. That'll be really good, and I'm, I will. And I'll sit on Lightroom. I'll edit one, then I always edit a second one, and that's why it takes us ages to put things out. Right. Okay. Uh, and that's what I do. I, from color, it goes to black and white. Right. And that that's, that takes the time. Okay. Well, I know, but I, I love doing. When I do football shots, I only do eight hundred. So uh, God knows what, how how you get sixteen hundred. Is is that in a in, in a day or? Yeah, that's in a day. That that could be in an afternoon. Right. Okay. So you. I, I go through. I go through batteries. Right. Yeah, you. I you, really go through. You must. I be go through the batteries of uh, everything. Then everything in anyone. Because it's so fast, Ian. Yeah. The street is so fast. You know, I could you could sit outside Primark and I think you've got it. It's a split second of yeah. that person coming out and, you know, like Primark have Greg's pasties. Yeah. It's that split second of that teenager putting the pasty in the mouth. I can't go up to him and then say, could you do that again for us, please? It's a split second. Yeah. So I think that's how I take as many. Right. So do you take one at a time or do you take a sequence? Sometimes I take one at a time. If it's something that I think, oh, that's going to be a split second, they're walking towards me, hmm. uh, I'll do a burst. Right. And then from that burst of maybe four, there'll be one good one. Right. You okay. know, it's just that angle of the face or the hand movement. Yeah. And the, it, eye, the, the burst... eyes being open, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. That, that's what I look for. Hope, hopefully. Okay. So, so what's your gear? What what what's the um, cameras that that you use? Do you have more than one? I use a Street, which is um, the Nick the, the new Nikon Seven range, which is okay. fantastic. I love it. Uh, so I use the Nikon Z six with a twenty four to seventy street lens. Okay. And that's what I go out with. That's, to be honest, that's all I can carry for the weight. Yeah. I would take a wide angle out with this. I just can't carry it. Right. I used, you know, the, the crossover camera bag. I just can't carry it for me back. So yeah. that does stop me from taking more out with this. So you take out one camera and one lens. Yeah. And that does everything you've seen. Yeah. That's what they're taking with. Right. And I, I find for me it work. It works fine. Yeah, I must admit when I go out, um, uh, I got a twenty four. I, I use a Sony, but I've also got two Nikon's as well. But I tend to use a Nikon mm -hmm. football. I've started using Sony for uh, for uh, street, and I've got a twenty four one hundred five and an eighty five. I love the eighty five because I love the yeah. compression of it and the bokeh. Uh, but not yours. A... Yours are yours are really good. I love yours on Instagram. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's you know that that's what I like doing. I, I like doing the uh, you know get get getting the um, the uh, compressed feeling and the mm -hmm. bokeh behind. That's what I like. I like doing. Um, but you know, I mean, I know it's not a usual street photographer's uh, lens, is it? The uh, eighty-five. They usually say between twenty-four and fifty or something. I mean, I, I got good advice um, from Michael at the London Camera Exchange. Mm. 
And he says, no, 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 no. He said, one lens. Yeah. One lens is all you need. He yeah. said, don't listen to none of them. He said, that's what you need. And I, t- I do take that advice. Yeah. You know, that that all very good photographers. And I thought, right, he knows more, a lot more than I do. So I'll go on his advice. And so far, it's... It's work. What I'm putting, what I'm putting out, it, it's working just with I think, I think one camera, if, one lens. If you have more lenses and more cameras with you, then you're thinking, well, should I be using that that one or this one? And and then you spend hours yeah. of time considering which one you should use. But if you've only got one lens, then you've got no option. And uh, the twenty four to seventy for street, I think, is a great lens. Yeah, it, it I could, would recommend it, it to anybody. Books. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. Well. You've been a you've been a member now of uh, ISPG now uh, for nine months. Yes. How how's that going? Are you enjoying it? Well, I think yours is the best one. I'm in a lot of them, but what you find is <sighs> yours has got the admins are all photographers. Yeah. Pra- practicing photographers. They are yes. You can go to them and ask. Why is this not working? And you can ask advice and help, and you'll get the, the the correct advice. All the comments are all very respectful. Yeah. Under everybody's photograph, they're all very respectful comments, and that's what I want of a page. I want, like, professionalism. I don't want hatred or trolls. Yeah. I just want a good – and the content is so good. Yeah. I mean, Everybody we, that goes on is really good. We 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 have had our one or two trolls, but we tend to get rid of them very quickly. Mm-hmm. A uh, ban, yeah. We, we <laughs> ban them. We ban them. Yeah, we ban we ban so many in the five years. Um, mm-hmm. You know, but you know, I I just don't want to have. I don't want to tolerate, or we don't tolerate uh, um, trolls and and bad language and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. So we do tend to get rid of those very quickly. Mm-hmm. And you meet different people as well. Like I've met Stephen Hooker um, via your page, and he—he's—I mean, he's—he's he's a great photographer. You know, I'd love to get up to his standards. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Don't tell him that you probably know now. Um, <laughs> but you know, uh, and Copy, he's on. He's very, very good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you meet a lot of the, and Sharon as well. They're three amazing photographers. Yeah, I quite and like that's... Uh, Christopher Bosch and uh, Hugo Levy, and um, there's uh, Amos. I can't can't remember his first name, but they're all very good street street photographers. I find. Yeah, and, and... you just you, you get to check out different people's styles and how the work and the angles. And what I do like is when you have your little competitions. And yeah. you'll see, you know, it's, it's hashtag, you know, GB Summer in. Yeah. And I like that. I like that because it, it gives you something to work for and then to see what everybody else has done. Yeah. I and think, I, th- I think that, that's important. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, I think uh, we have some amazing uh, photographers and uh, we have, I think it's a good mix of enthusiasts or, or, or semi-professionals maybe and, and yeah. for the beginners. And we have that good mix, I think. Uh, we do get a lot of criticism from people saying that the standard isn't good enough, but then I have to remind them that it is a beginner's group. Uh, so yeah. we have some that are, you know, not got a lot of idea, but they have to learn. There's, I think everybody's been terrified and gone and walked into the camera shop for the first time. And somebody somewhere's just starting out yeah and then you've got somebody who's been doing it 50 years and then you've got the ultimate beginner but they'll get to that standard yeah, yeah. they will get to that standard yeah they will and if... just if people help them and give them the you know that little comment means i think more than people think if you just say great shot love this and then they'll read it and think, my God, she's actually replied to, you know, my photograph. And I think, yes, I do. Yeah. I'll always put a heart in the like, because that, that means a lot to people, I think. 
yeah, it's, it's those little things, isn't it? That uh, that sort of give people yeah. a bit of hope and encouragement. That that's all it takes. Mm -hmm. That's all. It yeah. Takes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So in the group, uh, we have um, had quite a lot of reoccurring issues, shall we say? Uh, oh yes, I know. I know <laughs> all about those issues. <laughs> so uh, just to name a few, uh, we have the homelessness, which which keeps coming up. A lot of people think that we shouldn't be doing uh, photographs of homeless. What's your view? I've taken homeless, but you must, I, I mean, I will send this out to everybody. Please ask. If they say no, be respectful because they're there for a reason. Mm -hmm. If they say yes, I mean, there's a couple of guys in, in Newcastle and I wouldn't say, oh, there's a couple of quid, thank you. If they're beside, say, Greg's or whatever, I'll go and get them at Greg's and mm -hmm. say, thank you. But I always ask. Yeah. I wouldn't just yeah. stand and take somebody that's, you know, really hit hard times. Uh, but just be mindful of them. Yeah. Just ask their permission. I mean, I think I think uh, a lot of people think that you shouldn't do homeless at all. And I think that uh, my, my view of it is, is that street photography is about capturing scenes. And yes. Moments. And unfortunately, the homeless are, is part of that. And mm -hmm. um, they have a story that needs to be told as well. And I think that there is a right way of doing it in a wrong way. And uh, there are a lot of good uh, street photographs of the homeless which which mm -hmm. respect and uh whatever and, and give them some sort of dignity as well and i so i i i accept that homelessness is part of street street photography it is street photography because you're capturing moments yeah exactly you're capturing those very special moments yeah because in a week's time they might not be there or you might see the same one in over a period of years the change yeah. They get worse and you do get to see the same ones. Yeah. Because they just move they move around Newcastle. Yeah. Because they get moved on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I've had I've had no problem with them. They've always been, you know, very chatty and ask what you're doing. Uh and they're all they're all nice, they're all nice people. They're probably grateful that you've actually stopped in that uh you know, talk to them. Yeah. I mean there's one guy who actually he makes little things uh and he gives you them. He sits and makes them on the street, but right. he is actually homeless. He is homeless, right. um, and he's he's great. I think everybody's took his poor photograph. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's getting the personality, and they've all got their own personality, haven't they? So yeah, it's just trying to show that. So okay, what what about children? Because that's all always a, a, <gasps> a touchy, a touchy subject, isn't it? Grey area. It is a grey area. Do not take children photographs um yes i mean years ago you could you know like jimmy forsyth took kids on swings in biker in walker mm -hmm. scotswood mm -hmm. they're iconic they're iconic now Whoa. no mm -hmm. I, I just stay i just stay clear of it uh you've got to be very careful because mm -hmm. you know if a parent picks up on that the what why is she taking my child's photograph uh, where's it going to go so no i just if the walk past us even if i think that's going to be a good photograph no just i don't like it okay that's I, just I, my personal opinion on it i must admit that i've i've taken a few and uh quite often i will go and ask the parents permission uh, yes because you're not stopping the children you're not making the children do things uh, that mm -hmm. would be normally so it's not like staging it um but i i have actually stopped and asked the parents do you mind and mm -hmm. generally they've said yes not always but generally they've said yes mm -hmm. um, so uh, i just yeah. i just no for for me it's it's i'm not comfortable right well i think i'm I, just very careful i think it is down to the individual photographer's uh philosophy yeah. i think isn't it and uh that's a decision everybody's got to make, whether they do or they don't. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's not against the law, but you know, it, it can. You've be... got to be. You've got to be careful. Yeah, you've got to be careful, certainly. 
certainly do it with um with a little bit of uh, um uh what's the word i'm looking for um wariness be be, be wary yes. i think yeah be very wary yeah. but yeah what about uh, ai because that's that's coming into the uh the fray of it yeah isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think I'll probably have to go on a course to learn AI. I think it is, it is, it is, it is coming, but I don't think it's going to have much influence on. I think cameras hopefully will stay the same. Mm -hmm. I don't think there'll be AI cameras. I mean, there's been film cameras since you know Dot, so that hasn't changed. Digital, it's just the camera gets more advanced. But I don't think there'll be AI cameras. I don't think. But I don't like to see when you you know you see a photograph in the look, you know. Oh. It's animated. It's animated. The, it just doesn't sit right. And yeah. yes, it may come eventually, but I don't think it's going to take over photography. Yeah, I think I think that my my view is is that there are uh, I mean there are I think in Lightroom there's AI things in 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 Lightroom and some cameras do use AI. What I'm opposed opposed against so uh, very strongly is that when you use the text to actually make a photograph, so you you put in the text, yeah. describe it, and then AI makes it. That for me is definitely not photography at all. That's more graphic. No, be yeah, because yeah, you're, you're saying you know. I want an asylum uh, with a pink elephant. Yeah. And then you can put your photograph at the side. Yeah. You know, you can go on Google and just say on the AI app, yeah. I want a pink elephant with an asylum. Yeah. And they'll think, oh, that's um, the most wonderful photograph. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Sorry, that's my WhatsApp going. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, I think I think for me that that is wrong. I think uh, you know we're not going to get away with uh, a AI altogether, uh, but certainly when they use it to to make a photograph by by mm -hmm. writing it down, that for me is to totally wrong, and that should not be allowed. I think on Lightroom, there's so many packages you can have an extra this, extra that, and yeah, I'm thinking I struggle just with Lightroom. <laughs> I mean, I don't use Photoshop. Um, I just use Lightroom. But there's all these extra, extra, extra Lightroom, and you don't need them. No. Just stick to bog standard Lightroom, and you can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I must admit, I, I, I don't use uh, Photoshop. Uh, uh, not, not for photography anyway. I might do a few graphics on it, but I don't use it for uh, photography. So. so yeah, yeah, I don't think I don't think you need it. No. Nah. And so, so the last thing was uh, photo, photo theft. That's becoming more of a, a, a occurrence now, isn't it? More and more people are doing it. Yeah. Uh, that's why I always put on my photographs, photo credit, Tracy yes. Jackson. Yeah. And you know and I know we hold the copyright to that photograph. Yeah. If you want to go down the route and pay for copyright, which you can do, Mm -hmm. Le like legally mm -hmm. and it costs tens of thousands but you do by law own the copyright but yeah. you know when you see somebody and they and they've posted that on their page and they're claiming it's their image yeah i would love to sit down and just say to them if you're that desperate go and buy a camera and take the photograph yourself <laughs> Don't steal other people's and claim it's yours because I I scour pages and I think that's not theirs. And they shouldn't do it. No. They're, they're, at the end of the day, that's, that's, it's, it's theft. Yeah. And they should be banned from every page going and they should be named and shamed. Yeah. Um, that there's just there's too much of it going on. But if everybody keeps an eye out, for everybody's style, everybody's work. Uh, hopefully, you can stamp stamp out. Right? But well, I think if everybody puts the words "photo credit" or "copyright," that maybe it'll put people off from stealing. Maybe I say. I mean, we we have had um, one or two occurrences of photo theft on, on our group, and we've tend to yeah very quickly. I think 
Um, usually, yes, you, but, you did. Yeah, usually within about 24 hours, I think. Because uh, mm -hmm. we, we have a process that we, we we go through. We have to actually get them to admit that it's it's not theirs, I think, which is all, sometimes difficult to do. Uh, or we have to have some proof uh, that it's not theirs. Yes. Um, we've had one or two instances where members have thought it's not theirs, but it has been, and they've had to apologise in the end for accusing them. So mm -hmm. so sometimes it is difficult, but we, we try our best. And we, as I say, we have a process which we go through. Um, and generally, well, every time, if it's proved, uh, we, 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 we do ban them very quickly. Mm hmm so the, so uh, which 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 you which you, sh which you should anyway yeah because there's that i think there's no place for it if they're that desperate buy a camera and take their own photographs don't yeah. steal other people's yeah go out go out and do it yourself yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so uh anyway all right so um you're a you're a, you're an experienced street photographer so what are, <laughs> what, what are your tips for beginners for beginners, um, just go out and take as many photographs as you can. Ask advice if you know somebody. I will willingly take anybody out with us and show them. If I can give back what I've learned over the years, I'll happily, you know, tell somebody, go to a library, read as many photography books as you can, Go to WH Smith's, read the camera magazines, read the articles, join every forum page on Facebook, <laughs> yeah. learn as much as you possibly can, get to know your camera shop. I know they're a dying breed, but I use um, the London Camera Exchange in Newcastle mm -hmm. or WEX, the flagship store in Newcastle. They're the two main ones. They're all experienced photographers. They will give advice if you need the advice. Uh, but, you know, ask that anybody can shadow me. I don't mind at all. I'll take anybody out for a couple of hours and show them and say, right, you should be doing this. And just take as many pictures as you can, but enjoy it. You I, must enjoy it. I might take you up on that because I am planning a trip to uh, Newcastle in the near future. Oh, there's tons of places for you, Ian, in Newcastle <laughs> to go to. You'd be going, I wish I didn't ask her now. Because <laughs> I, I, I have been once, and but I don't think I, I saw everywhere. So I was only there for about three, four hours. So uh, I seem to get stuck sort of around the city centre. But I'm sure there's much more than that around. Oh, stay clear of the, the main city centre. You need to go on the outskirts, like Chinatown. Yeah. Places like that or where the students are. Because they Chinatown's fab. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's that, go, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Well, I've 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 made a list of all the things you've told me about, so I am planning on on, on going to uh, one or two. So I'll let you know when I'm uh, coming, and then I can add I can you. I can add to your list. Yeah, hey, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. <laughs> uh, so you've entered the uh, LCE photo competition. How, how's that going? I haven't heard. I don't think it's till uh, March. All right. Okay. I think it's I, I think it's March, but I'm eh, there's across the board. Can you imagine the the standard? Yeah. I yeah. mean the standards. It's going to be so high. Yeah. Yeah. It's going you know. To, yeah. So somebody's got to win. There's what? winners, but the, I think the more I enter, the more I get used to to entering. Yeah. And how you enter. And what you enter. You know, and what I enter as well. Yeah. I might have entered the wrong three yeah. completely. I might have got it totally wrong, but you just don't know what they're looking for. Each judge has their own uh, style of what they like. They do. They do. And I say you've got to please them. So I think, um, you know, you've given it a go. So that's good. And I, mm -hmm. I wish, wish you the best on that. I hope you get somewhere. So uh, you're, I'm sure you'll let us know. Whether you, yes, I will. When you win, whether it. I win or when I win or lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Tracy, I think we're uh, we're coming to the end. I think it's gone very quickly. Um, uh, but so my it last, has. It's my last question is: uh, What's your uh, ambitions? My ambitions are um, exhibition. 
Okay. I want A0 size photographs. But really, I would I would love with all my heart to have an exhibition in the side gallery. Okay. In Newcastle. I really would because you, it's it's the, it's the place. Have you thought about a virtual exhibition? I have, but I wouldn't know where to start. Okay, well, uh, I, it, you can try uh, Art Placer. They, they they do it. We've actually got ours on at Art Placer. Uh, it costs mm -hmm. it costs you about uh, well, the minimum is one hundred and thirty pounds for for the year, but you have it for a year. You can just put on as many as you you want. Not as many, no. They, you are limited. So, but there are different packages. You can go up to five hundred pounds a year, and you can have as many as you want, and you get all the uh, analytics as well. So it tells you how many people actually visit, whereas mm -hmm. your two lower ones don't tell you that. But it's 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 quite good. It's quite easy mm -hmm. to do. Yeah, easy enough to do. I I sorted one out within a few days. So, oh, yours was really good. You done? Yeah. Well, I've done two or three since since then. So, mm -hmm. uh, so it doesn't take you long. It takes you longer to pick the pictures than it does to then, actually, uh, uh, put it on. So it is. And I, I I enjoyed that. It was good. Yeah. Good. Good. Have you seen the uh, the uh, latest one? The one we did a couple of months ago. Yes, I put in. I put in. I, I was in that one. Oh yes, you were. Yes, yes, that's true. Yes, I was. Yeah. I was in that one. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Tracy. I think we're just about to run out of time, so it's been.